Center for Health Statistics shows that a greater percentage of blacks smoke than any other group of Americans. Critics say that's no coincidence because tobacco companies spend millions of dollars trying to get blacks to smoke. My brother did it. You know, I thought he was cool and I wanted to be cool, so I, I smoked cigarettes. I am afraid of it, but I'm so addicted that it's hard to stop. For American blacks, not smoking isn't just a matter of choice these days. It's a question of life and death. I think it's a serious, much more serious problem than most of the black people realize. Uh, early, you know, unless you're in a field like I am where we sign death certificates, uh, uh, we don't really know how many people are dying. And While black physicians view the smoking issue with growing alarm, critics charge that the tobacco companies view black smokers as a growing source of income. In fact, they say, blacks are the target of carefully plotted and highly specific marketing campaigns. They're particularly honing in on people with the lowest disposable income who are taught that smoking is something that is glamorous and wealthy. And the important thing, too, is there are many streets in black areas where virtually all of the retail outlets have cigarette advertising. It's an enormous, heavy concentration. Critics also point out that in many low-income areas, more than half of the billboards carry tobacco ads. Offers of free cigarettes and cheaper generic brands are an added twist. Mass transit systems used by lower-income commuters are another popular showcase for black-oriented ads. The tobacco industry denies vehemently that they target black groups or any other group. It just isn't true. We advertise nationally to everybody. But the charge is made that these days, the industry goes beyond buying advertising to buying influence. At entertainment, cultural, and sports events across the country, good times mingle with the cigarette message in the form of banners, hats, and free samples. Hey, enjoy the sales, enjoy the sales. And that's not all. The cigarette companies are very fond of portraying themselves as the leading corporate benefactors to such organizations as the United Negro College Fund or the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People. Our concern with the black community goes, predates any question of the uh, issue of smoking in health or attempt to use it. And to say that this is something new is crazy. We fund a wide range of organizations from the Boy Scouts to the YMCA's to art museums to hospitals. But the critics maintain that because black groups are so dependent on tobacco company funding, black publications and leaders tend not to speak out about smoking's impact on their community. Again, the industry cries foul. You get zealots, I will even call them nuts, who engage in a kind of McCarthyism based on statistics which are unreliable, which are contradictory. They know it's going to kill these people, and they're willing to uh, peddle cigarettes in any way that will be successful for them to get richer. So the controversy continues, but down in Durham, North Carolina, in the heart of tobacco country, the nation's largest black insurance company is taking action. They've started a stop smoking project sponsored by the National Cancer Institute. About 40% of the black people are less informed, are depressed economically and socially. And I think more of them are smoking. The goal is to help people like Mary Ann Johnson, who finally quit a lifelong habit four weeks ago. I just decided to change a lot of things in my life that I was doing that I uh, could correct at this point to live a little longer, hopefully. Unfortunately, it's a little late for George Nunn, who smoked three packs a day for 62 years. Cigarette made you cough so bad. Every time I, 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 I couldn't hold a cigarette in my mouth, I'd have to take a draw and take it out. I cough so bad. <laughs> he has lung cancer and emphysema. On a more hopeful note, against heavy ads and big budgets, some black education does seem to be working. This teenage rap group composed an anti-smoking song for a school assembly. Smoking cigarettes, but you just catch a camper, got lungs like a tire. These youngsters sum up the message that groups like North Carolina Mutual hope will offset the powerful voice of the tobacco industry. They think they're cool by smoking, right? But as you smoke, you know, your lungs and all this gets weaker and weaker, and soon they'll be laying up in the hospital somewhere. And, well, you can't be cool in the hospital. The tobacco industry continues to believe that the results of scientific investigations to date demonstrate no cause and effect relationship between smoking and chronic diseases. 
Nonetheless, later this month, Congressman Waxman's open, or committee will open hearings on a proposal to ban all cigarette advertising.